What's cracking guys, Omar Isaf here. In this video today, I wanna to talk about the rate of strength progress amongst lifters. In particular, your first year of lifting, what you can expect. But I will also talk about intermediate lifters, advanced lifters, the whole damn spectrum. You see, I filmed a video last week uh, walking outside where I just gave some basic strength goals where I said I think after your first year of lifting you should have over a two times body weight deadlift a few other variables I said right I talked about the squat the bench press all three movements and some people were saying damn Omar like are you kidding me a 225 bench minimum after your first year of lifting I still haven't done that after lifting for two years and so I think I should qualify what I'm saying. I've talked before about how much muscle you can expect to build in your first year of lifting, but not really how much strength you can expect uh, to gain throughout your first year, first several years, years two to five, years five to 10, all that stuff. So I wanna bring some concrete evidence right now. I wanna talk about the strength gains that you can make. What's really cool, I'm gonna shout out my boy, Greg Knuckles, the data, the source that I'm gonna to refer to, because you see, once again, on the internet, people kind of talk about different recommendations. They tend to use body weight, why? Because that's relative strength, so it applies to everyone. Um, and they make some recommendations, but this is based on evidence. What Greg did, he sent out a survey, he got over 1,800, nearly 2,000 people to respond to this survey, just detailing what their current lifts are, the rate of progress throughout the years, to give kind of a more accurate picture of what you can expect to gain in terms of your strength and muscle uh, throughout time. But I wanna focus this video on how much strength you can gain uh, in your first year of lifting and then beyond that. Okay, so before we go on, like I said, there's over 2,000 people that actually contributed to this survey, so that's a pretty damn large sample size. When you take a look at studies, they're far smaller in size. And you're actually, most of you guys are gonna be surprised by how much people are lifting. Um, body weight was not accounted for and that's why at the end of the video i will give you some body weight goals but by and large like these people aren't overweight they're also not super skinny these are just people that are lifting trying to get stronger we assume also that most of these people the vast majority are natural um and so with that being said their body weight is probably between somewhere around 150 pounds to maybe 220 230 240 like just the average that a lifter would be so really when we take a look at this, we're going to take a look at the squat, the bench, and the deadlift in terms of the rate of progress. We notice several different things. The first is that newbie gains are real, and we all know about this, right? In your first year of lifting, you will gain more strength than subsequent years. So in your first three months, like he actually even breaks it down, first three months, uh, months uh, three to six, and then months, uh, months uh, six to 12, they gained on average over 20 pounds on their squat per month, the respondents. That means 60 pounds in your first three months. If you could do that as an advanced lifter, you would love that, but it's just not so. And so there's a few different trends. The first was that those that first started off lifting less than three months, they got quite fast gains. The bench press also is the lift that tends to take the longest. And this makes sense just from anecdotally hearing you guys and just bros at the gym, the bench press takes longer than the squat or the deadlift. What's really cool though for more advanced lifters or intermediate lifters, and I want you guys perhaps just to comment below right now what year you are in your lifting career, like year one, two, three, four, five, six, is that he goes all the way up to years five to 10, which is actually currently where I'm at, and they note the rate of progress, it slows the hell down. Like they show that on average for an advanced lifter, uh, they, he refers to it in kilos, so 0.7 kilos, which is about 1.5 pounds per month. That works out to like maybe 15 pounds a year on a lift. So in your first year, you could probably gain, you know, 150, 200 pounds, something insane like that. But when you move on to year six, year seven, year eight, you're lucky if you get those 15 pound jumps. Um, and that really kind of just expresses, once again, the natural potential, the strength potential, where you see that. It's kind of unfortunate. I know some people, when I list my own goals for the year, where I say, I want to go from like 350 to 360 pounds on the bench press, they're like, damn man, only 10 pounds? Hell fucking yeah. That'd be amazing, actually, if I could gain 10 pounds of strength. But let's break this down. We're gonna put up the charts on the screen right here. But for the squat, people after the first three months are squatting about 225, uh, most of the respondents. That's the average, there's a standard deviation here. Um, but about uh, 225, after their first year of lifting, they're squatting on average about 330 pounds, which is probably more than some of you guys were expecting. But I wanna talk about that, and just keep that number in mind. So 330 pounds after about a year of lifting. After uh, you know uh, years two to five, so after uh, quite a bit of time now lifting, they're squatting more along the lines of 410 
10 pounds, so it took them a year to squat maybe 330, and then it took them a few more years to squat that four plates, to get to four plates. And then after years five to 10, they continue to gain uh, strength. About 475 was the average. So that's actually really good. Um, Greg also has a very good audience, so probably there might be um, people, especially when you see beginners starting out where they're squatting in their first year, you know, 330 pounds. Might be a little bit above average, but we'll talk about that. Bench press. Bench is always the rough lift. After a year of lifting, on average, these guys were benching about 235, 240 pounds, which I said before, I said, like, after a year of lifting, most people will be able to bench 225 pounds. And then as we go uh, beyond that, we see that after two to five years, they're not quite at that 300 pound mark. It's more like 280 on average. And finally, years five to 10, you're more like 330, 335 pounds. Uh, so that also tends to make sense. The bench is quite slow. The deadlift, on the other hand, people shoot up uh, in the first 6 to uh, 12 months, so the first year of lifting, they're lifting almost four plates, most of the respondents, which is phenomenal. That's amazing. Um, years 2 to 5, then they move on towards almost 500 pounds, more like 475. And then after 5 to 10 years, they're about 550. A few things I want to talk about when uh, we talk about these numbers. So now that we have kind of goals or maybe numbers in your head, this is a large sample size, a lot of people contributing to this. There's uh, two things I want to talk about in particular. One, it does appear that those that are tracking their workouts earlier on, they have higher than what you'd expect to see gains. And that's probably because when you send out a survey to people, uh, those that don't get a lot of gains aren't likely to respond. They don't want to talk about that. But if you take a look at uh, the studies that show new lifters, their rate of progress, or also, again, I'm going to link this in the description, those that get coaches earlier on, these numbers, I know you guys are kind of shocked. You're thinking after a year of lifting, a 330-pound squat, almost a 400-pound uh, Della 4 plate deadlift and like a 235 bench, that seems exceptionally high. When they look at studies, this is actually under the amount you would tend to see it from those that are being observed. And that might be just the pressure of doing the study. The same idea if you hire a qualified coach early on in your lifting career, these gains are actually below what's normal, what is normally observed. So that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, you know, having a coach does always certainly help. It takes you away from that newbie lack of progress and it makes you focus on a, a smart path. For myself, I stated this before, uh, my first year of lifting, I think my best list bench, I got uh, easy 245 bench from just barely benching the bar in a year. Uh, squat, I was at 315, so maybe that's a little bit below average. I was doing more weight, but honestly, it wasn't to depth. And then my delf, I think, was 355 or 365. So that's my first year of lifting. Those were my numbers. So they kind of fall within the average what you expect to see. The bench, because as a bro, I bench three times a week. as a little higher. But don't be surprised, guys. I saw uh, everyone uh, leaving comments. And again, if you're in your first year of lifting, leave below what your rate of progress is, saying, damn, Omar, like, that's high. A 225 bench after a year? Hell yeah. Uh, people aren't aware of how much you can really push the body, especially in that first year of lifting. So set goals for yourself, set big goals for yourself. Maybe this is a cool way of showing you, on average, this is what you can achieve. Real people are doing this. People that aren't enhanced, people that aren't you know, genetic freaks or have you know, superior coaching, just average lifters reporting how they lift, how much they lift, as they progress over time. So train smart. It is clear that either getting a coach or being smart, you're watching these videos, so you probably should be above the average population uh, in terms of strength gains, certainly does help. Things eventually like equipment can slightly help, like a bench, knee sleeves, all that fun stuff. But at the end of the day, these are merely just guidelines for you to compare uh, to maybe what people normally get to push yourself beyond what you're comfortable with. Lastly, if you want body weight goals, because you said, what the hell, man? People didn't say their body weight. What if they're 150? What if they're 200 pounds? I think in your first year of lifting, approaching a two times body weight deadlift is definitely feasible. I think a 1.5 uh, times to 1.7 times uh, body weight squat is also feasible. So if you're, uh, you're 150 pounds, that's between like 225, 275. And then lastly, if you're on the bench press, I think at the minimum you should be doing a 1.25 uh, times body weight bench. So if you're 150, once again, I think that's like 187, 190, something like that. So those are all very achievable goals. You want to focus on these even if your only goal is to build muscle. I talked about that before. Developing that base of strength is important for everything you endeavor to do. You want to make sure because you have all those newbie gains, you have all that potential, you get it right when you first start lifting. Be smart. Push yourself. I hope this explains it. I hope this also clarifies my position in that previous video where I just talked about those things and some people are like, holy shit, man. Like, those gains seem unachievable. They're not. They're very achievable. Push yourself. I got to get out of here. I got to square at myself. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the damn video, I'm looking right at you. You made it, what is this out? Seven minutes, eight minutes, 12 minutes. It's 35 minutes. 
It's almost 10 minutes. Uh, like the damn video. How many likes do we want? One million. A million. You, yeah, you, you heard it here first. It's going to get probably 50 to 100, 150,000 views. He wants a million likes. Do it for else. Every single like gets him one more Diet Coke, uh, which is important because he loves his Diet Coke. Anyways, guys, like the damn video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this answered that question. The link is in the description for people that want to read more. I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Peace.